Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us again. Today is day two of Fire Prevention Week. We hope you really enjoyed the first video. Today, we're gonna show you our fire safety house. It should be familiar to most of you, but we just wanna do a good run through. But before we get started with that, we still have yet to find Sparky. So if you see him at any point today, if you could just scream as loud as you possibly can, cause, and let me know that you see him. If not, I, we're just, I don't know where he's at. So just anytime you see Sparky, we need you to scream at the top of your lungs. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. Your teacher won't mind. I promise. So I am Chief Andrew Bogan. I'm a battalion chief for the fire department. This is Captain Corby Swain, and he's going to talk to you about our smokehouse. How's it going, everybody? I hope everyone's having a great day. We're super excited to have you back with us today as we talk a little more about fire safety. You guys saw the fire engine hopefully yesterday and uh, saw us spraying some water. So now we're gonna talk about what you can do to do your part in fire prevention week. All right, so we're gonna start out with the first things first, right? We wanna review. I'm sure most of you know it, but we never wanna play with matches, lighters, stoves, anything hot, things like that that we see that are left out. We wanna make sure that we tell our parents, hey, there's a lighter left out, there's something like that. Make sure we put those things up where, where us or our siblings or whoever can't get to them so we never have that accident in the first place. I also wanna to talk to you guys real quick about something you might already remember from last year and that's stop, drop, and roll. If you were ever in a situation where your clothes were to catch on fire, you stop where you're at, drop to the ground, and roll back and forth. You don't run, you roll back and forth to hopefully put that fire out. All right, so let's get to talking about actual fire prevention and fire safety, okay? One of the most important things we can do in our home is to have a smoke detector. Most of you guys may see these mounted on a wall or on a ceiling. You'll definitely see it if you come to our fire safety house. You'll see where they're at within the fire safety house. But we have these and they make a really loud sound. Some of you may be familiar with that sound with mom's cooking or something like that. It's but, not a timer, boys and girls. It's yeah. an actual smoke detector. It's it tells a, you when there's smoke. It's a smoke detector, and that's also a really good practice that if there ever is a fire, you can, proper, you can practice your fire safety drill. So, the first things first is that we want to make sure that we have smoke detectors in our home. If not, ask mom and dad about them and tell them to contact their local fire department about how they can get a hold of those. All right, so let's talk about what we're gonna do inside here today. What we're gonna do inside is we're gonna teach you guys that if you ever do happen to have a fire in your home and you hear a smoke detector or you smell smoke of what you're actually supposed to do. Once we go inside, we'll teach you how to, if you see smoke, you get down low to feel the door with the back of your hand. If the door's hot, we won't open it, we'll leave it closed. And then we'll make our way out of the home to our meeting place. That's called our fire drill, if you will. And you guys, just like you have fire drills at school and you get outside and you get with your classroom and everyone takes, takes a roll and, and everyone's outside, you're gonna do that same thing at home. So next time we'll see you, we'll be inside the house here and we'll walk you through what that looks like. Okay, everybody, now we're inside our smokehouse. I don't know, this is usually a really fun thing to get to do, but it's a really, really serious subject. So this is what happens if you were to wake up in the middle of the night and you had smoke in your bedroom, what's the very first thing you gotta do? You're right, you gotta get down low. So if you, if you stand up really high, a lot of times the really, really bad stuff, the really, really hot, and the really, really nasty smoke's a lot higher. So if you get down low, the lower you get, the cleaner the air becomes and the cooler it becomes. So then as soon as you get down on the floor, you crawl over to your bedroom door. And we're gonna say this is our bedroom door. Now, what do you do if you feel the door with the back of your hand? What do you do if it's hot? You're right, you don't open it because there could be a fire on the outside of that door. You would have to go out of a window or find another way out. You don't ever open the door if it's really hot because the fire could be right on the other side. But if you feel the door and it's cool to your hand, then that's, you're good. You could probably crawl out. And the whole idea is you want to stay down as low as you can and crawl all the way outside and go to your meeting place. So as the smoke kind of gets in, we woke up, we got down. Oh my goodness, Captain Swain, there's a lot of smoke. We better get down. We better feel the door. The door feels good to me. Should we go? Yeah, if it's all hot, open it. All right, let's go. Now everybody, remember we're going to crawl and we're going to get down low and we're going to go out. If we open the door, there's a lot of smoke, but we can do it if we just get down low. I come to the next door, it's cool to the touch. I'm gonna show, keep going. All right. We need to go to our meeting place. Yeah, we need to get to the meeting place, come on. 
Okay guys, so we're back here in the second floor. You saw a minute ago how we were able to get down low. We felt the back of the door with our hand. It was cool to the touch. So we were able to crawl out and get all the way outside to our meeting place. But let's say the door is hot. Let's say you can't go out that door. What do you do then? So let's look at our door. We have a nice little sign here that says door hot. So that means if you feel it and it's hot, there could be a fire right on the outside of that door. So if you open it, guess where the fire is going to come? It's, it's, it's going to come right into you. So that leaves us a couple of options. We can't open the door. We got to leave the door alone. So we have to go out one of our windows. Now you can see this window here. We're pretty high up. If we were to just jump out, we would get hurt really bad. So there are some options. You can go to your local hardware store and you can get a uh, like an escape ladder that attaches to your window and you throw it out and it's kind of like a pirate ladder. It's kind of neat. Uh, but if you don't have one of those on our other window, we actually have a ladder to get down. So if we, if we felt the door and the door was hot, we couldn't open and we could always go out our, our second window. All right, so when the smoke starts coming in, what's the first thing that we do? Do you guys remember? Exactly. You got to get down really low. And oh my goodness, Captain Swain, there's smoke starting to come in. All right, I'm going to go out this what window. What do we do? do we, oh, we get down and we go out the escape ladder. Okay. I'll stay down low. Okay, here we go. Let's go to our meeting place. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, this is the most important thing. We made it to our meeting place. That's very, very important, and Captain Swain's gonna explain why. All right, so our meeting place, we decided long before that if we were ever to have a fire, that our meeting place would be the little free library out in front of the station. And the reason that we want to have a meeting place is that way when the fire department gets there and they say, is everyone out of the house, we can say, hey, everyone at your meeting place and if everyone's there you can tell us yes but if not everyone's there then you can tell us and you can tell us where their bedroom's located the main thing is, is that once you get to your meeting place make sure you stay there we never want to go back inside for pets for little brother little sister anything like that that's why that you have the fire department available to you because that's our job to go back inside make sure everybody's safe and get people out but make sure that as soon as you hear that smoke detector or as soon as you start smelling smoke, that you're able to get down, get low, yell fire if you need to, but work your way out of the house and get to your meeting place. Okay guys, so our meeting place was our little free library. Uh, and I do wanna mention this, it's, we have a library at every fire station. It's free, you can drop by anytime. You can get a book, leave a book. You can bring the book back and get a different book, but they're at every fire station. So guys, with that being said, stay safe and we'll see you next time.